What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to mirror the display on your Samsung Galaxy S10e onto your TV. Now this is also going to work for the regular Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus so keep that in mind. Now in order to do this you're going to need one of two things. You're either going to need a Google Chromecast or you're going to need a TV with Google casting features built in. Now if you don't have a Chromecast, I highly recommend getting one. It's pretty much probably the greatest TV accessory you could possibly get. And I have a link in the video description to where you can pick that up. All you have to do is connect your Google Chromecast to the back side of your TV just like this and plug it into the wall and you're good to go. The next thing that you need to do is install Google Home onto your device, which is a free application available in the Google Play Store. Now that you've installed the Google Home app, Make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Google Chromecast or a smart TV. Then from there, tap on the little profile icon on the right side. Then scroll down until you see Mirror Device. Tap on that, and it's going to say that this device is not optimized for casting, so your experience may vary. That's all right. Tap on OK. And then tap on Cast Screen Slash Audio. And then tap on that so that it connects to your specific device and it says again that it's not optimized but you can see now that the device actually has been mirrored onto the TV and pretty much anything you do on your device now shows up pretty much in real time on the TV so this is really cool you can pretty much go through your device do whatever you want and it updates on the TV in pretty much real time. I mean, there's not really much of a delay here. This is really awesome if you want to do some sort of presentation or something onto a TV or even a projector for that matter, and you want to just show whatever's on your phone and just pull it up directly on the TV. You can just see how fast and responsive the scrolling is here. It just works really well. Also, if you turn your device to the side, it automatically turns it to the side on the TV as well. So that's really cool too. The image that is casted over to the TV is also HD, which is awesome. You can even pull up the camera and pull that up on the TV, which is pretty interesting. And it works for playing YouTube videos too. And the audio comes out of your TV speaker. You can see I can turn over to the side here and the video mirrors directly onto the TV. So that's really awesome. But I feel like those videos don't give enough detail about the actual product. You can even mirror Fortnite onto the TV here, which almost creates like a console playing experience, which is pretty interesting. So this can be kind of cool if, for example, you want to play Fortnite with some friends and you want them to watch you and you're in like your living room, but your only option is to play on your phone. Then what you can do is just mirror it to the TV here and everyone can watch and spectate while you play and it kind of creates a more interactive experience versus you just kind of staring at your phone on your own. And you can see that the refresh rate is actually really solid, even though it is mirroring over Wi-Fi. So it's definitely viewable for other people, which is great. I mean, there is a little bit of a delay, but really not much at all. And also, if you can kind of pair this up with a Bluetooth controller, this can actually be a really cool console-like experience. All right, got one. <laughs> Awesome. So you can see it's definitely playable and I was actually doing this all by looking through the TV and not even the phone. So this concludes my video on how to mirror your Galaxy S10e, Galaxy S10 Plus, or Galaxy S10 onto your TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Again, this is Kevin Breeze here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.